What is this? River rats, good things are happening. I don't get to say this enough. We have plenty of bait. A bunch of people have been asking me how I catch them and I'll show you what I do because I could use a couple more and uh, then we're gonna go use them. All right, let's go. So what you're looking at here, you have traditional sonar and then you have side scan, broken side scan because it, how it looks on this side should also look on this side. So this is looking out to the left, this is looking out to the right. This is super helpful for catching bait. But essentially you're looking for a big blob. It's gonna look like a bunch of dots on this so that might be bait, that might be hybrids, that might be largemouth. I'm not gonna throw a net on it. We're looking for a blob. There's a blob. Oh yep, that's bait right there. So you have a big yellow blob and then you have a bunch of little speck marks here. Not a huge concentration. At least not what I'm looking for, because I want a giant blob of it that I throw my net and be done. But yeah, those are all shad or what likely shad stuck like glued to the bottom. It could be crappies or white bass, but from what I've seen, it's all been shad up here. And that's probably a bunch of thread fins because that's a real dense blob, but there's not a whole lot of discriminant specks over here. But the other thing I've been doing is I've been looking for them to, for when they go pop. And that gives me like a tangible thing to throw at, which is nice. This year, this is a slight delay. So you're kind of guessing a little bit on here. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. But um, to see them pop on top of the water gives you a clear bullseye to throw at. Yeah, there's a pile of them here. And that was one that just popped over there. So I'm gonna get the net ready. So some slight irony is I've been throwing my deep net, that green one, it's got tape on it. So it stays open as it falls through deep water. That's what I've been getting most of them on. But uh, yeah, the river came up five feet and now I'm catching more in the heavy fast sinking net but I think it's because most of them are higher in the water column at least the ones I'm throwing at oh yeah there's one over there I'm gonna go to see go towards that one that popped oh my goodness okay good throw well, that was a good throw I think I hit him I think the net is shaking from shad in it Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um. <laughs> oh goodness, just like that, we're going fishing. <laughs> if you're like, that seems like an excessive amount of bait. Dude, when you're throwing giant baits, which with the water being the way it is right now, is a great time to throw giant baits. You go through them quick. I'm gonna start by throwing small baits, but once the sun starts to get a little bit lower, like that thing, it's like hand size shad or bigger. And these are, I wear extra large, extra large gloves to give you perspective. So I don't have tiny, tiny hands. Um, that's gonna be like one to two baits. I don't know if I'm gonna have no baggies for all these. So. I'm gonna process these and we're heading upriver. Oh. <laughs> Rod got whacked and I was just getting ready to leave. It's a big bait there, bud. Can you handle it? We'll give him five minutes. Well, we're here. Looks like we're going to be bobbing a little bit. Um, also looks like the cable snapped, so I'm going to guess where about 800 feet is. Call this 800 feet. Pretty excited to toss the little rods out though. Ugh, that was soggy. Not much current here, which might be exactly what's needed. We're in the foam. So we'll try in the foam. We'll try outside of the foam. I'm assuming outside of the foam is where the most current is. Definitely gonna need a drift sock. 
Wrong side. Really want to beat 23 pounds, but wouldn't turn down a good striper bite if that materialized. All I'm doing is throwing chunks of uh, chunks of shed. Waiting to uh, hear that noise. Hopefully, it won't take long. Last time the water was up, it didn't take long up here, but that was last time, not this time. Well, that was what I've been waiting on. It took longer than I thought it would, if we're being honest. But he hit it just as angry as I thought he would when I got bit. He ain't gonna go 23, but he ain't bad. Just roasted it. Not a bad fish. And the light action rods make all good fish even gooder. Oh, there he wakes up just a smidge. He's rolling around like a blue cat. If it was a striper, he probably would have went on a run. Nice to have another one get tagged like that. Thanks for the cooperation, bud. I think I can flip him in. We're gonna find out. Yep. Yep. Nice little punch ball. Good time on the little rods. So thanks for playing. I think I said that already. I do mean it though, it was fun. Better have your sea legs out here. All right, let's, uh, let's try something different where I'm not bouncing around. If I was catching a pile of fish, I'd probably stay, but I'm not, so we're moving. Well, that was a cool idea, but uh, looks like it's time to put the little rods away. Try to catch something big. Where to go? Well, I wasn't going to fish down here because I fished down here a lot, but uh, I marked a bunch of fish. So here we are. Hopefully they're hungry. I actually got a bite. That was a real slow one. Ooh. Rolling, doing catfish things. Oh, he's helped me feel my toes. As soft as it sounds, I was getting cold. He is not a tiny one. He's not a, I don't think he's a giant one. Well, who knows? There's some weight there now. Mm -hmm. It's kind of putting it on me a little bit. Not a lot bit, but a little bit. There he is. That ain't bad. At least there's a fish out here. Should probably get my net, huh? Come here, bud. Thank you for saving a pretty slow day of fishing and for being big and fat. Appreciate that part too. All right, dude. Oh, that. I should have known better than that. Yeah, he, uh, he just bit the crap out of me. He's a nice one. Um, yeah, I was thinking about calling it a night. He pulled the rod down, and I might. I'll give it a few more minutes, but uh, if not, I appreciate him saving a pretty slow day of fishing, or at least making it a little less slow. But yeah, I'm probably gonna head in and see you in the morning. It's the new game plan. Au revoir, bud. Well, yesterday was rough, not gonna lie. But uh, thankfully, I still have a lot of ideas to test out at this water level. It's quite a bit higher than I fished down here yet. 
I definitely have some things to learn. And we're going to try to learn some today. We're going to see how this shakes out. Different water levels, different everything. And hopefully, different result from yesterday. I'm probably going to hook a monster and get a loss in that buoy, but it's a risk we're going to run. I'm going to start with the little fellas today, then might switch to the big ones later. I feel like we're bouncing closer to that buoy. Yeah, we're going to have to move. Okay, much better. I think the fish will let us know. Should probably drain this guy. It's gonna be gross. Hmm. Kind of like chumming them in a little bit. Nasty, slimy shad water. You got 20 minutes, fish. Oh no. That folded down very nicely. I reeled down on him and all I got was drag. I was getting ready to move actually, which seems to be a reoccurring theme. Oh, what happened? Nothing. I should have hooked that fish. Whatever. Until I can procure me a fresh fish lunch, I'm gonna have first lunch. The old, uh, old rolly. It's compact. You don't have to worry about squishing your bread. Tortilla, cheese, lunch meat, mustard. Whatever combination you feel good about. Ham and Swiss, big fan. Switched it up with some Gouda today though. Gouda is Gouda. Oh no. Are you gonna open? What the? I've opened you before. So I know it's possible. Okay, got it. Don't you worry. I'm so hungry. I basically have eaten nothing today. After my poor showing yesterday, I was motivated to get on the water. Oh, my cat broke on here. That sucks. At least I still have the little plunger deal. Much better. This is the food hand, that's the bait hand. There's definitely some cross contamination, but I feel like it's probably improving my immune system. Or I like to think so anyway. This spot gets 20 minutes and then, uh, then we're out. Well, I marked a crap ton of fish here. Been one of my favorite little high water spots so far. I just haven't made it down this way for a while. We're gonna give it a shot. It's definitely one of them grinder type days. Be sweet to get an eater and then go cook them and fish here after dark. I'm a fish here after dark either way, but it'd be sweet to uh, be eating some fresh fish beforehand. And that definitely marks the few fish that I would not be a bit surprised if they were catfish. But it's hard to know for sure. A stick got caught in my line somehow. Whatever, it's fine. Everything's fine. Toss this little guy into the gar hole where I marked them all. Maybe there's a hybrid or striper mixed in. Or maybe there's a gar. I got on a limb and say there's probably a gar. Uh, what is this? Probably not gonna see it. That's what it is. He pulled it down and then just stopped. I got a podcast going in the back. Kind of acts striperish. 
I need to get him above the trees. I do know that. Oh my goodness, that is a big gar. Um, wow. These long noses fight so much better than the short nose we have. And they jump. <laughs> All right, we will net you. Okay, come here, bud. Oh, underneath. Wow, oh, he's big bodied. He did not care for that net. Okay, in the net. That was fun. Long nose fight so good. Wow, hooked him right in the corner of the mouth. He must have been chewing on that for a long time. Jeez. Let you keep the bait. How about that? This isn't the biggest gar I've ever caught, but uh, he's right up there. And he hit the rod. Like if, he was, if there was a rod I would wanted this fish to hit, he hit the right one because that was a whole lot of fun. Back to rhyming. I just, it's not on purpose, I swear. Uh, I'm going to let him go. Okay, see ya. I would have kept him, but I don't have any tools for cleaning him. I don't know. I'm going to wait out the cats, but that makes waiting a lot more enjoyable. The jumps were pretty sweet, too. That just completely turned around. That was entertaining. Even feels like a cat. I think, yeah, he's shaking like a cat. I'm going to try to keep him under these lines. I don't know if he just came untangled. Yep, nice eater cat. Yes. You are perfect. Come here. Yep. It is destiny. I've been looking for you all day. Never been so excited about, I don't know. I don't know how big he is. Actually, I do. He's eating size. <laughs> All right now, I need one of these big rods to do that. Yeah, it's definitely sprinkling. I honestly find a lot of enjoyment in sitting and fishing under when it's raining under Bimini. It's gonna put the old kibosh probably to uh, cooking on a campfire like I was planning, but okay wait till this passes and I think I have stuff to fry them fried fish sounds good okay we have a mild dilemma fried fish sounded wonderful I only have a little bit of breading I don't think it's gonna be enough so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fry some of them and then I'm gonna pan sear the other fillet but I got Old Bay and garlic powder and black pepper so uh, and corn tortillas it's gonna be these it's gonna be real these should probably warm up the tortillas first okay well we might be able to fry all of it if you were excited about something other than frying I'm sorry but frying's really good just something special about some fried catfish I spilt some precious breading. Not my greatest moment of all time. Yeah, I think that's gonna it's gonna go the distance. Sweet. No Franks, but that's all right. It's gonna be quite good anyway, especially on a tortilla. Everything's good on a tortilla. Ooh, do I warm them up or do I fry them? You know, we're frying stuff anyway. Don't you love how the cooking station is four feet away from the bait station? <laughs> I find it entertaining if nobody else does. Where's my tongs? There we are. If you're having trouble pooping, this will take care of that. That's pretty hot. How do I turn that down? I had it cranked all the way up. 
Does not need to be all the way up right now. Be sweet if the fishing cranked all the way up. We'll do five. Is five too many? I don't think so. Okay, that's gonna do it for these guys. Gonna add a bunch more grease and then add some fish. Oh yeah, I think we're there. No Franks, just dunked them in water. They're gonna be good. One of my favorite sounds of all time, right there. Other than maybe a bait clicker, that's, that's up there too. Little guy's got to be done. Oh, yeah. Round dose. There's got to be room for one more. Maybe another one? I do have backup bratwurst in case the fishing really sucked. But I'm glad I didn't have to go that route. I'll eat those for lunch tomorrow. The final round. Then it's taco time, if you want to call it a taco. All right, officially taco time. No hot sauce, no condiments. Still got dirty, greasy hands, but so I mean that little shad slime condiment. It's good. It's not as good as when it's soaked in franks or mustard or anything like that, but very serviceable if you find yourself stuck without it, like myself. And I'd rather eat fish like this than leave the water and go to the grocery store. Kind of hate going to the grocery store, if we're being honest. I'm going to eat this, then I'm going to go hog hunting. Little rods get put away, you got plenty of bait, so I might as well throw some big dog baits and fingers crossed there's at least one big one hungry. Hope you enjoyed the video, can't always bang them out. Fortunately it doesn't take much to make a fine meal, unless you're like me and eat a lot, then it takes at least one fish per person. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. But either way, really appreciate you taking time to watch. Hope you catch a giant.